This is NBC6 News Now. The Aspen Climate Conference was underway this week and our very own hurricane specialist, John Morales, was there as a keynote speaker to discuss everything from weather to climate change and the important role our meteorologists play in communicating what's really taking place. Here's what Morales had to say. People have learned, frankly, to trust the weather casters uh, and there's actual research on that on how much people trust weather casters in terms of the information that they deliver, deliver especially when they're looking for a trusted science source uh, so the general public will actually look at their broadcast meteorologist as their most trusted source of scientific information uh, so we have a terrific opportunity to be able to communicate the state of the science of climate change to an audience, really on a daily basis if, we, if, if, if the opportunity arises. Studies have shown as well that when an audience is provided climate context uh, in these weather segments, uh, you know, we actually wrote a paper together about that. Uh, uh, when they're provided climate context in the weather segments, people internalize and personalize the threat to the point where they're um, empowered to demand action on climate. So getting a little bit deeper into the complex science and making it simple and bringing it to people, I mean, backstage we were talking about so many different examples, but take us through some of what you've experienced and how you've been able to process that. You know, in, in recent years, the number of extreme weather events which uh, are, are oftentimes attributed to the changing climate, have been multiplying. So the opportunities for a broadcast meteorologist to be on air and provide that climate context, and, and, and listen, it's as simple as saying, you know what we just observed there? And it might be, might be a heat wave, like the one that Miami lived through during this last summer, the worst, hottest summer that Miami has ever had in terms of uh, apparent temperature or feels like temperature topping 105 degrees for I don't know how many, double the number of hours uh, over the previous record, right? So it might be a heat wave, it might be a, an extreme rainfall event, it might be rapid intensification in a hurricane. When these events occur, the broadcast meteorologist can get on air and simply state what we just observed is consistent with what you would expect on a warming planet. And I can leave it at that. It can be as simple as that statement. But the audience starts to realize, oh yeah, I, yeah, I remember 20 years ago, 30 years ago, I, I had seen some news that scientists had predicted that uh, you know, we would get more heat waves or that it would rain stronger or maybe 30 years ago, there wasn't as much research on how many rapid intensification cycles we would see in tropical cyclones. But of course, sadly, and scary uh, that we're learning that now in the present era. Uh, so so those, that's, that's just some of the ways that, that we do that. I fear that there's going to come a day when we're going to have a mundane tropical storm in the central Bahamas that 36 hours later is going to make landfall in Miami as a category three or uh, four or five hurricane, category four or five hurricane. That will happen someday. And it's changed the way that I um, communicate the threat because a mundane tropical storm in the central Bahamas might have been a trigger for me to uh, kind of calm people down and say, you know, listen, it's a tropical storm. Worst case scenario might be a category one. Now we don't know. Now it can ramp up to a category three or category four. And these are some of the threats that we're seeing with the changing climate that are important to communicate to an audience. And it also highlights the importance of science and data. I mean, there's so much fundamental that we know about the science and data, what comes with our changing climate. And we do need to move forward on solutions. However, we still need science and data to drive that communication forward. The Hurricane Hunter aircraft, the ones that fly into the uh, core of the hurricanes, those missions are not flown as often in the eastern Pacific Ocean as they're flown in the Atlantic Basin. 
uh, and uh, the, the National Hurricane Center two weeks ago came out with their report on Hurricane Otis, their post-mortem on the storm. And, uh, and uh, they noted that had they had more data, they might have been able to pick up on the developing tropical cyclone, how quickly it was intensifying, and maybe provide, provide a better warning for Acapulco. So data is key, but you know we can't slam people over the head with textbooks, right? So it's up to meteorologists, weather casters, to communicate science and data in layman fashion so that people can really understand it. And the other aspect that's really important here too is this, this is your line, so I'm holding it for you. Oh, oh my, <laughs> I, I, yeah. This, this is a time like no other to be courageous. This is the time to talk about this subject matter. Listen, don't be afraid. The, three in four Americans accept the state of the science of climate change. It, it's not as controversial as you think. Strike up those conversations. And listen, I know I'm preaching to the choir here, but strike up the conversations with those outside of your immediate comfort zone so that the more we talk about this subject, the more it's going to become a priority in people's minds and people are going to demand action on climate from their elected leaders and other organizers and community leaders in their areas. It, it can be, you know, despite the uh, Thursday night's uh, kitchen table conversation, it should be a kitchen table conversation um, uh, because it's that important, right? It's, it's, the, it's the biggest priority, in my opinion, as a scientist of the 21st century, and it needs immediate action. As Morales said, a meteorologist's job is to start those conversations and get us thinking about the state of our world, the impact of weather events, and climate change. As always, you can reach out to our First Alert weather team and get the latest updates on our NBC6 app. Thanks for watching.